Hey everyone, it's Lightcast, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use custom workspaces in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Let's go ahead and get started. If you'll notice, the editing tab is probably the most important tab we're going to be using in our editing series. That's because it's something we're going to spend the most time in. But you also notice there's also some windows in our um, editing tab that we don't really like to use. So we want to create a custom workspace. It can be something external. It can even be a layout we have set to the editing tab itself when we can reset to save layout. And this is pretty much how the layout looks for pretty much everyone. There's a tool toolbox here with a bunch of different tools you can use, timeline, project bin at the bottom, with a source window and a program window at the top. But people like to change it up. And for me, I don't need all these tabs. So we're going to go ahead and close some of these tabs. Info, we don't need markers. We don't even need history. We don't use media browser and we probably won't even need to use libraries for this section. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to move some of these tabs up and we're also going to delete the metadata tab. That looks a lot cleaner, but we're going to go even further because we want to use more space for the timeline section so we can use the full length of the end to end window. So we're going to drag this window up. And that's what I love about this system is it's very robust and you can actually move everything and make everything extremely custom and immediately it'll snap into place. And now all the sections are in order. Now we have a nice, very clean setup. And if we ever need to go through a file or a video, we can go through the sources, check the effects, change the effects, um, and check the audio levels and stuff like that. As well, if you ever close something that you think is really important, you can go to the window tab and go down and find the tab that's missing. And for us, we close the source window or source monitor. We're just gonna either click shift plus two, again, with the keyboard shortcuts, or we can just click it here and checkbox it and it'll immediately open up again. So that's a really handy little tool you can start getting familiar with. And now, now that you have a custom layout, all you need to do to save it is go back to window, hover down over workspaces, navigate to the right, go all the way down and click save as a new workspace. But we don't need to save it as a new workspace. We're going to save it as the editing uh, workspace. So save changes to this workspace. And now anytime you go to the editing space, it will be da 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 this workspace. So. That's a little bit of a kind of a tutorial on showing you how to create a custom workspace. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you liked our video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please click subscribe and click the bell icon to stay up to date anytime we make new content. And until next time, as always, this is Lightcast, and thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.